when doctors don't listen. So, for various medical reasons, I have idiosyncratic reactions to certain drug combinations. Every single one is listed in my chart. And most doctors who aren't my doctor just ignore them. Which is often a bare step below torture. Mind. And then this happened. And it seems something was added to my chart so that my meds interactions would be taken seriously. I'm two days post-op. And had actually spent the prior eight hours fighting with my nurse who is refusing to give me my pain. Meds. Because he doesn't want me addicted. The dose was exactly what I take at home. And I was pretty angry. So the doctor on call comes in after my fourth call. And listens to both me and the nurse. Yes. It's oxycodone. But again. It's my normal dose. The doctor offers the compromise of Percocet same dose of oxy. Added Tylenol. I immediately say no. That's a very bad med for me. We spend 15-ish minutes talking past each other. With him trying to reassure me that it has my correct dose. And me trying to get him to understand my weird reaction to Percocet. Which. The reaction is to oxytylenol. Whether as Percocet or taken an individual. It does not matter. I will vomit. Give me pH enegrin. Give me Zofran. I will vomit. Doctor rolled his eyes and promised me 8 mg Zofran by IV before the Percocet. Then stayed by me. Trying to get me to switch to them permanently that's not even my decision. That's my pain management drive. But whatever. They give me the Zofran. Then have me take the Percocet it's a pill. Five minutes later. I lean over and throw up on this doctor's $300 shoes I know that's their cost. Because it's literally the first thing he says. Not the shoes they cost me $300. I'm not saying I aimed. But that I was trying to avoid making a mess for the orderly. Okay. And yeah. I absolutely had to throw up twice more while he watched. To make sure I wasn't inducing before this jackass let me have my normal and actually prescribed. Meds. And yes. I filed a complaint they never go anywhere but what I treasure is his reaction the third time in. An hour that I threw up on his shoes. Why oh why do doctors assume that even though your file says you react badly to a medicine they give it to you anyway? I am so glad you vomited on his $300 shoes maybe next time he will listen to his patient and not assume he is right. Hopefully he will remember that his behavior caused you to vomit on him for a long time. There is an antibiotic that makes me puke within minutes of taking it. My doctor flagged it as a medicine allergy so no one will try and prescribe it. Saves me a lot of puking and delays in healing because if you're puking it up. It's not killing the germs making you sick. Glad you hit the shoes double exclamation mark. The whole red I was like please vomit on his shoes. Please vomit on his shoes and you came through. Well done op. I once had an er doc tell me I don't care what you've conned other doctors into putting in your file. And refused to give me the medication I required. This seems wild to me as a nurse who works with post-op patients. They are saw them painkillers. Oxy works well post-op. America is so weird. I would have aimed at his shoes also. I'm prescribed oxycodone for pain as well and I have reactions to Tylenol which I've tried to explain before when a doctor wanted to prescribe Percocet. I'm young and also had a nurse try to withhold my pain meds after a lumbar laminectomy and told me 
that I will be fine with a Tylenol. And it is even listed in my chart as an allergy. Better than puking on the doctor once was doing it again lol. I vomit with any opiate. Fun times. I hate morphine especially. OMG I can relate to this so much. I've been on an opiate blocker for a while but then I had to get surgery. Despite the doctors having my extensive medical history and knowing what meds I'm on. Proceeded to give me Trimadal. An opiate. The reaction was immediate and intense. I couldn't stop throwing up for the entire night and had to deal with some of the worst pain I've ever felt in my life. I'm so sorry this happened to you. I hate doctors who are so arrogant that they think patients are just hairless apes who don't know anything about their own bodies. I told many doctors about my Percocet and vomiting and they gave me Vicodin which is very similar. I projectile vomited for 12 hours and the doctor had the nerve to say. We think you have the flu. No mother FCKE or I took one pill and threw up just like I told you I would. You need to know who the patient advocate for that hospital is and give that patient advocate a call. You can give me a medicine that is not good for me and is listed on my medical records and I will sue for malpractice. I had an air doc send me home 3x for dehydration when I was actually developing Geely and Bar and was losing my ability to walk. They had the audacity to ask me if I really needed the wheelchair when in fact I was literally there because I was numb and suffering the worst pain I've ever felt nerve pain from the waist down. Wasted hundreds of dollars and finally they were like well we don't have a neurologist so you should just go somewhere else. My parents had to come get me from hours away and I ended up in a hospital five hours away from home for a week. I have a bad reaction to sodium pentathyl it takes 3x the amount to knock me out. And then for days I vomit constantly. The first time. It sucked. Next time. I told them I had a bad reaction to it. And they assured me they wouldn't give it to me. They did. Now I say it's an allergy. I've been asked what happens and I just say. I die. Nurse here I'd report the nurse for practicing out of their scope of practice and failure to. Follow doctor's orders face with symbols on mouth face with symbols on mouth. When my wife's grandfather was in hospice care, the caregiver not his normal one didn't want to give him his nitro because she didn't want him to get addicted to it. Dude's gonna die within a month. My wife was not happy. And when she's not happy, look the fuck out. Needless to say, he got his meds. And we never saw that caregiver again. The opioid abusers have ruined it for the rest of us. I have rods and screws in my shoulder from a motorcycle accident and a busted up knee from a different accident and I used to have no problem with being prescribed pain management medication. Unfortunately now I have just resigned myself to being in pain and miserable for the rest of my Life because no doctor will prescribe me anything even though it's obvious I have chronic debilitating pain via records, x-rays, and the huge scars. It is terrifying and life-threatening how doctors don't take women's pain seriously. I hope that at least some chunks and gravy went into the shoes. I hope you filed a formal complaint and not just on Reddit. What is the difference between doctors and God? God doesn't think that he's a doctor.